to make a little pet shop for a doll using a cardboard box, felt or plush fabric, scrap of paper, recycled paper, printables from our blog, plastic bottle tops, extra cardboard, yarn or twine, clear plastic from packaging, artificial plants, toothpicks, and glue. I start by cutting a square from a cardboard box, cover with paper, cut thin strips of cardboard, Glue several together, cover with paper to make columns. Glue them to the corners of the cardboard, cut another large square of cardboard, sketch out doors and windows, taking into account the columns that will be on the sides. Cut them out, cover the raw edges with paper, cover the remaining areas with paper, cut clear plastic, glue the plastic over the windows, cover the edges with strips of paper. Cut down the cutout from the door, cut out the center, cut two, cover with paper, glue a piece of clear plastic between them, make a hole in the top of the door frame with a toothpick, push toothpicks into the corners of the door, push the door into place, glue it to the front columns, pushing the bottom toothpick into the cardboard. To make the front of the store with a working door, cut a long folded piece of cardboard Measure it to the side and back of the store. Cover with paper on both sides. Glue it to the side of the box, leaving the back wall unattached so it can swing open to extend the play area. Cut and cover strips of cardboard. Glue them to the wall for shelves. Cut a piece of cardboard. Fold in the sides. Cover with paper. Glue covered cardboard to the top and bottom to make a counter. Roll paper tubes, gluing more than one together to get the needed height. Wrap and glue twine over the paper tube. Make a few in different sizes. Cover plastic bottle tops with felt or fabric, leaving a small opening underneath to attach the pole. Glue the tallest pole into the corner to act as the fourth column. Glue on the other poles to support it to make a cozy cat tower. Cut a rectangle of cardboard Begin making another counter. Glue another piece of covered cardboard on top. Fold a piece of clear plastic. Glue it around the edge. Cut and cover another piece of cardboard to go in the back. I can even cut out our printable to use as a backdrop. Trim with paper to make a fish tank. And I glued it to the wall when the box was closed to make sure it could clear the floor. Cut another large square of cardboard that is slightly wider then the top. Double the cardboard to make it more sturdy. Cut long strips that are the same length as the sides. Cover them with paper. Glue the large square to the middle of the strips to make a tray that fits on top for a roof, helping to keep the back wall closed and providing another area for the pets to play. I can even fold and cover another piece of cardboard, place it in the tray to make a room above the store. Cut and cover cardboard, gently bend the sides, glue in a few artificial plants, glue them under the windows, cover a trapezoid of cardboard with paper, then add our printable to make a sign. Cover cardboard and paper tubes with our printables to stock the shelves, add one of our pet beds in the corner, and a cash register like the one we made in our doll coffee shop. We even added a little kinetic sand to the fish tank. And you're done. Happy crafting! Give a shout out to Girly Gamer123. What's up? Welcome to Little Froggy's Pet Shop. I didn't know you weren't here. I'm filling in for Chloe. Oh, really? I take this job very seriously. Now, excuse me while I go teach this monkey how to paint with watercolors. 
so don't get any ideas. Unfold.